it does not matter when a bride and groom become married if there are two, 20, or 200 guests. The most important people are right here, and that's the two of you. Any time after you met, if you wanted to, either one of you could have walked away, but you kept seeing something special in each other that made you coming back for a lot more. So the power to marry is in your hands right here. It is the two of you who decided to be friends, lovers, and now husband and wife. Tanya and Joseph, you have chosen to incorporate the old Spanish tradition of the lasso ritual into your wedding ceremony today. O oh God, bless the marriage of Tanya and Joseph who come to you to seek your blessing. Give them wisdom, devotion, and in the ordering of their common life that each may be to the other a strength in need, a counselor in perplexity, a comfort in sorrow, and a companion in joy. Grant that their wills may be so knit together in your will, that their spirits in your spirits, that they may grow in love and peace with you and one another for all the days of their lives. I, Joseph, take you, Tanya, for my best friend, my love, my wife. I give you my promise to stand by you, laugh with you, cry with you, share with you, to support and respect, honor and obey from this day forward and for all eternity. Hi, Tanya, Tiki, Joseph, for my best friend, my love, my husband. I give you my promise <laughs> to stand with you, laugh with you, cry with you, share with you, to support and respect, honor you from this day forward for all eternity. <laughs> The old analogy is that a ring is round, no beginning and no end. But since you're starting a new family, you deserve a new analogy. A ring is like a hug. As you hug your wife, your arms form a circle. Returning his hug, your arms form a circle. And this is creating a double circle. We all know two is stronger than one. 